Dear students, welcome to the online class on Human Digestive System, Part 1 Mouth, the Tongue and Salivary Glands. In this video, we learn about structure of human tongue, tongue papillae, structure of salivary glands, saliva and its composition. Structure of human tongue Human tongue is a muscular structure made up of skeletal muscles. It has approximately 10 cm length. The lower side of the tongue has a mucous membrane called frenulum which is used to attach the tongue on the floor of the buccal cavity. On the dorsal side of the tongue, a shallow V-shaped groove called terminal sulcus divides the tongue into an anterior two-third oral part and a posterior one-third pharyngeal part. Small projections called papillae are present on the upper surface of the tongue. There are four types of papillae and most of them contain taste buds. The papillae are filiform papillae, filler meaning thread-like. The filiform is the most numerous papillae and are white in color. They are present on the front two-third of the tongue surface. They do not contain taste buds. Fungiform papillae The fungiform papillae have characteristic mushroom shape. They are found on the tip and the sides of the tongue. They are red in color. Foliate papillae The foliate papillae appear as red colored leaf like ridges and are present on the sides of the tongue but on the back side. Valate papillae or circumvalate papillae. They have dome shape. They are located more towards the posterior surface of the tongue. That means towards the pharyngeal part of the tongue. Their number varies from 8 to 12. Several minor glands called serous glands or von Ebner's glands are located near the terminus sulcus. Their ducts secrete the serous fluid into the base of the circumvallate and foliate papillae. The secretions of von Ebner's gland contain lingolipases which can initiate the lipid digestion in mouth. Most of the papillae, except filiform, contain taste buds. Taste buds can sense five tastes such as sweet, salt, sour, bitter and umami. Umami has savory taste that means the taste of soup, cooked meats, tomatoes, cheese, etc. In addition to sensing taste, tongue helps in chewing swallowing and also in verbal communication. Let us discuss about human salivary glands. We have three pairs of salivary glands. Number one, parotid glands. They are lying just below and in front of the ears. Number 2. 
submandibular glands also known as submaxillary glands they are lying at the posterior corners of the mandible number 3 sublingual glands they are lying just below the tongue the ducts of these glands take saliva to the oral cavity salivary glands secrete saliva continuously but the volume of saliva may vary depending on the situation composition of human saliva human saliva contains 99.5% water mucus epithelial cells whose dna can be used for forensic studies antibacterial substances such as secretory iga lysozymes etc traces of electrolytes such as sodium potassium calcium magnesium chloride bicarbonate phosphate etc and two types of digestive enzymes such as alpha amylase or ptyalin for the digestion of starch and salivary lipases for the digestion of fat human digestive system part 1 mouth is over you are requested to visit my youtube channel for learning more about human digestive system thank you